What's up, Market Snipers? This is Jesse, and I hope everyone is doing well. Quick reminder that uh, none of this is financial advice. Uh, always do your own research, and this is just for uh, entertainment and educational purposes only. With that, this video is going to be um, trying to keep it as quick as possible, uh, short to the point. So we're going to dive right in. You know, a quick recap of what happened with Bitcoin uh, after borrowing out about 15500 we had bullish divergence followed by, you know, a buy signal, followed by a breakout and a buy signal on the weekly chart, right? So, you know, most of you probably know by now that I don't trade off the weekly chart based off the, I trade off the daily chart. And so the, this buy signal shows that it was around January 9th and uh, the buy signal on the daily chart was January 4th. So I was in somewhere around January 3rd, January 4th-ish on that buy signal at 16,800. And since then, you know, we've, we had 100% bounce. Going back to, you know, talking about all through the bear market of 2022, you know, for six to nine months, you know, as uh, price was dropping below 40,000, 30,000, below 20,000, kept talking about in the Discord and on Twitter, you know, just give us 100% bounce. Obviously, we hoped for more, and we and we continue to hope for more, but uh, we did actually get a hundred percent bounce, almost exactly from uh, wick to wick, right? So wick to wick, about a hundred percent. Obviously, we don't catch the entire move because you know waiting for a higher probability reversal, you know, at sixteen thousand eight hundred, it's not going to be a hundred percent bounce, right? So. That's not that's not the plan is to try to catch the bottom wick or the top wick. It's try to ca capture at least 80 to 90 percent of the move. So we we did pretty good on that. Now the last month we've been talking about uh, is the Bitcoin rally over? In hindsight, there hasn't been a higher price made of 31,000 since April, the week of April 10th. So it's been about two months since uh, Bitcoin has uh, gone higher. And uh, has not gone higher than 31,000 for the last two months. So over the last month, I've been talking about it more and more as more signs continue to develop on the lower time frames and then move into the higher time frames. And so what we're looking at on this weekly chart, you know, mul multiple things, you know, it's start our size breaking down, right? We get a um, sell signal on uh, RSI on uh, the week of. May 15th, so uh, about a month ago. Before that, uh, the week before, we received in the recorded coaching uh, sharpshooter package, not the regular Discord, but um, the sharpshooter package, they received uh, an alert, you know, a bot alert of a potential sell Bitcoin on the week. You could see uh, it was posted the day of May 14th. So that would have been on this weekly candle here of about uh, the week before May 8th. So multiple and also like the potential buy of the DXY happened on the, on the exact same, right? So over the last month, we've been seeing more and more reasons why of a potential uh, sell on the weekly chart, which is slower moving obviously than the daily chart. And so we have the sell here, the week before we got an alert of a potential sell and now we come in, uh, the next thing that we saw is if you show the MACD indicators, uh, MACD had a bear cross. I was talking about that we had a pending bear cross. And now that the week ended, uh, we have a MACD bear cross. And this is the first red trending dot. You know, that's going to depend on what inputs you have on the indicator. Uh, but what I have it currently set at, uh, it's the first red trending dot. There was no green trending dots back here at the same setting. And so, you know, the MACD, as, as we all know, is not enough to trade off of by itself. As you can see, there is a MACD bull cross here. And there is divergence, right? Even on the other side, there is divergence. And so price went lower. So just because the MACD bear cross happened doesn't mean price is going to continue to go lower. In fact, it could bounce up create divergence, right? And then come back down. What we're talking about here today is that the probabilities continue to stack that 
at least in the shorter term or the midterm of, you know, say, call it three to five weeks that uh, the bear market rally has been over for two months so far, could continue to be over for another, you know, call it three, five weeks, uh, retraced uh, to some of these lower targets, even all the way down here, possibly fill the 4% CME gap. It's not a it's not a massive gap, but it is a four percent CME gap that's on the chart. Uh, there's a, a small two percent CME gap up here at thirty five thousand. So at the very least, what I'm seeing is that you know it could continue you know over the next three to five weeks, hit some of these lower targets, especially with the the MACD bear cross, uh, and we'll, we'll watch it as it continue to trend downwards. Um, so you've got multiple multiple reasons why it continued to tell us, you know, the sell, the alert, now the MACD bear cross. If you jump over the five day chart, which is the, the next one down that I have on here, I don't have a six day. There's a pending sell signal on the five day. You know, we had a MACD bear cross back here and I was pointing that out in the discord uh, that it was pending back here. I think it was even pending back here on this candle. And then it, it was pending again. And then there was a MACD bear cross in the five day. And, uh, you know, signaling that the rally could be over. And just because all of that happened um, doesn't mean it can't just reverse back up. So we, we always trade on the lower time frames because a lot can happen on the weekly chart uh, before there's like a, a buy signal or a sell signal, right? So to me, it's not as profitable. So I, I prefer the daily chart. Um, or, you know, sometimes lower charts, like 12 hours, stuff like that. So, uh, so that's it. That's the, is the bear market rally over? There hasn't been a higher price put in since, uh, two months ago. And now we have a sell on RSI, uh, a month ago, we had a, a potential sell on the bot, uh, five weeks ago. Now we have a MACD bear across this week. And so, you know, it's getting closer and closer to, producing a sell signal, we've got, um, so doesn't mean we can't get a bounce, you know, could come up, bounce up like this, and then roll over like that, and then come back out like that, right? And so that, what would that look like? That would look like something like this, right? And even get like some sort of a, a fake out, maybe it's even a higher bounce up like that, right? Especially since there is a MACD bear cross, you know, uh, try to trick the algorithms out there. And, uh, but, you know, could just be something like this as well, or just continue down something like that and come down and, and come back out. And so it doesn't mean that we're going to go revisit uh, the lows again. And it doesn't mean we're going to go to $10,000. I know a lot of influencers like to call $100,000 Bitcoin, you know, in the next three months or a million dollar Bitcoin in the next three months or $10,000 Bitcoin in the next three months. Meanwhile, there is a, uh, a, a five or four month rally, 100% bounce, right? So just try to stay neutral and trust what the charts are telling you. If, you. if you're not sure, you know, learn it, back test your strategy, back test it some more and, uh, you know, live with the results and uh, do the best that you can. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to help. And, um, you know, please like and uh, retweet this video. Thank you.